What's up everyone? Andrew here with Family Fly Ties. Thank you for taking a moment to watch my video. This will be another fly tying instruction of one of my more productive flies this year. Uh, this fly is called the MB Stinger. This fly has been very productive for me during specific times of the year, particularly between June and the middle of August. However, I've been able to catch on this fly in the beginning of the year as well as at the end of the year. So all around, it's a great fly. If you're a Euronympher or you're looking for a fly that will get down quicker, this is one of those flies. It would be considered a bomb. Uh, it's a four millimeter bead tied in a size 12 hook. So it provides that opportunity as well. Let's delay no further. These are the fly tying materials. The hook is a size 12. Hook I'm using is a Hannock 450 BL. Gold bead with red thread. For the tail, CDL in dark pardo. Grab a few tail fibers, loose wrap in the beginning. This one I like the tail a little bit longer. All the way down to the hook bend. Once you get to the hook bend, one underneath to flare out the tail. Remove the excess. Now we're gonna be using some gold medium wire secure that all the way back there we go for the body i'm going to be using a beaver dubbing from nature spirit in a color march brown i like to create a tapered dubbing noodle light on the top then add more as you go down adding a little bit by little bit so you can get a nice tapered dubbing noodle Once you have your dubbing noodle, noodle finished, begin those wraps, touching turns. And I like to build up that body a little bit by wrapping a little bit over each other up to the bead. I'll remove the excess here that I don't need. Now we wrap that gold wire as evenly as we can through the body and then secure that, bend that back. So it's easier to break off and then helicopter that off. So now we're going to use some Brahma hen for the hackle, dyed medium done. Just secure that. Once secure, we're gonna get our hackle pliers. We're gonna tease those feathers back to begin with and start our wrap. With each wrap, grab the fibers and stroke them back. Grab the fibers and stroke them back. And then secure. Once secured, cut. Stroke back the fibers that are going forward. Couple thread turns will secure those. Now the finishing touch is a peacock dubbing. This is again, peacock hair's ear. I do a couple. I'm gonna secure it with a whip finish. One more. 